Hi there again. So in the last video, we were looking in AKC Pro Server um, at the PUE features and how we could uh, use the PUE virtual sensors for live PUE calculations. And in addition to that, how we can then um, uh, use our rack maps to make sure that at the same time as maximizing our efficiency, we're also not overheating any of our servers. So uh, in the previous videos, we've already looked at how to set up the rack maps. So today, we're just going to look at the configuration and setup of our PUE virtual sensors. So you, first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a virtual sensor licenses for AKC Pro Server, which you can do by purchasing um, from sales at akcp.com. Um, we sell uh, license packs, which allow you to unlock the virtual sensors within um, the server software there. So I've already got a PUE virtual sensor set up here. That's the one you can see displayed. Um, I'm going to remove this and we'll set up from scratch. So if we offline the PUE sensors that I already have here, we can set this up again. Okay, so to set up a PUE virtual sensor, we are going to uh, select create virtual sensor and from our sensor type, it will be a PUE sensor. And the host this is going to be on is our AKC Pro server, which is where we've purchased already our virtual sensor licenses. Um, so we will call this our data center PUE and every 15 seconds we'll pull the data. And now we need to select our IT power sensors. So I've got several um, sensors uh, here, which are our um, active power for our IT load. So this is the active power for server one, two, three, four, and five. And now we need to select our non-IT power. So that's going to be um, our total active energy, uh, phase one active power. Um, and then next. And then this is where we can set our um, PUE efficiencies. So if we're 1.2 to 1.5, we are in the very efficient um, range above 1.5, we're efficient. Once you get up to 2.5, we're, we're inefficient. Um, and then hit finish and that's it. Now this will automatically be set up and added here. Now we can um, rename them. So this one will be our IT power and then we have our non IT power. And then this is our total power. Now we've named those, we can begin to drag them here into the desktop. So this desktop I've um, already set up, I just need to drag the sensors back into here. So uh, our data center PUE, and then we have our IT power, our non-IT power and our total power. And then the final thing I want to add into here is our graph. So um, we will put in a graph of our total power. So we just go to open graph. And we'll also put in a graph of our non-IT power. And these will now begin um, graphing over a period of, uh, of hours, or we can change this to, to days, um, weeks or months, we can choose the scale of the graph here. Um, and that's it, that's basically how we set up our PUE virtual sensors here in AKC Pro Server. Um, in order to get the rack maps, I have another video uh, where we already cover that, um, where we can set up the rack maps with uh, AKCP thermal map sensors, so you can accurately 
um, monitor the temperature inside uh, each one of your cabinets. And then, like I said, we can begin then to tweak your data center settings, um, the amount of cooling and um, non-IT load that you're using to get that PUE number as low as possible, while at the same time ensuring that we're not going to exceed any of the uh, maximum temperatures for our servers. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.